good morning everyone happy wednesday hope your week is off to a great start if not guess what you've made it halfway through and you just have halfway more to go and then you get a brand new reset um in next week so really nothing major going on um just teaching the children every day trying to teach them math um but really nothing other than that thanksgiving is coming up uh we have the rest of this week and then we are in school four days of next week and then thanksgiving break is that next week so that's exciting i actually go next thursday um i am not actually at school next thursday i go and take um the math tests that will actually certify me to teach what i'm teaching uh so you can teach a subject for a year without being certified in it and you have a year to go get that certification um, so to teach 7th and 8th grade math, you have to have an extra certification. So I have a general ed certification, but I have to have an extra one um, because of the math that it is. And so I am going to take that test um, next Thursday. So fingers crossed that goes well. Um, ready to uh, kind of get that over with, I guess. Um, and just, you know, know that I have what I need um, to teach uh, these kids. I mean, personally, I know that I can teach them um, but having that piece of paper that says that I can teach them is gonna make it um, a little less stressful at times today's title is the good father it says I will be your father and you will be my sons and daughters says the Lord all-powerful 2nd Corinthians 6 verse 18 it says God has been around for such a long time that we might think he is just an old man like a nice old grandpa I've never pictured God as a nice old grandpa, um, so that's funny, but I can totally see how kids who, um, you know, that childlike, childlike faith just think of God as this really old man that sits up there and watches us all. Um, so I can definitely see where that's coming from. It says, God is nice, but we need to remember that he is not an ordinary person. He is the king of the universe and the father of all his creation god is more like a good father he is strong protective and loves you no matter what he is the heavenly father and this means that he is in control of everything will you trust him to take care of you today so the song there's a song good good father um chris tomlin originally sang it um zealand worship did a or not zealand just zealand i think did a um kind of their take on it which i love um because like i said i'm really not a slow song like i said before i'm really not a slow song person um and so good good father is just a tad bit too slow for me but zealand does a take on it that is super upbeat um just right up my alley and so i love that version of it so because of that i've grown to love that song um so that is nice but God is a good, good father. He is right there beside us every step of the way. He's in control of everything. So, I have a great dad, and I know that. Um, I am blessed in that department, but not everybody is. And so, that's where God steps in. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a great dad, and I have a great heavenly father as well. I know that. But... For the people that don't have a great dad, God can step in and fill that role because he is our heavenly father. He is a good, good father. He is gracious. He is loving. He is caring. He will guide us along the right path if we choose to follow him. So thank you, God, that you are a good father and that you love me as your child. God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son to die for us. That is a love that is unlike any other. You just can't, you cannot even begin to match that amount of love. Everyone, remember today that God loves you like his own child because you are his child. You are his creation. Everyone go out, have a great Wednesday, 
And as always, be the example.